this match is going to be the first match with Future Star Mason Greenwood. I recently acquired him through a trade with someone on Discord to CZ3. So I traded Del Piero for Future Star Mason Greenwood because he is capped at 10,000 coins. Um, I didn't do the trade uh, for profit or for anything other than just kind of switching up the team. Uh, El Piero had no issues with. He's an amazing free kick taker. But uh, I just kind of wanted to switch up the team a little bit because uh, when you play like 50 matches in a row with the same team, it just kind of gets boring. And I wanted to add some more United players to my team so I could make Kermit happy. Now, Kermit is a uh, Next to view my YouTube videos, and he's a huge United fan. So in order to make Kermit happy, I decided to add more United players. And in the process, I also added another United player. I added uh, Rashford, and I'm selling Sun. So again, nothing wrong with Sun. I'm probably going to regret selling Sun. Just uh, using the same team over and over again. Uh, just gets boring to me. Uh, whether I'm making a move for better or worse, it's whatever. As long as I'm just kind of enjoying the game. So we're going to see what I can do. We're going to see what I can do with... Uh, Division 1 first matchup with Mason Greenwood. I did have Mason Greenwood before um, when they initially released Tristar promo. I was able to acquire him. Uh, I had actually no issue with the card, but I was able to then sell the card for a profit. Uh, so I sold the card for a profit, and then the bug kind of happened, and then I was never able to get him back. Until someone messaged on Discord asking for a trade, and it kind of uh, it benefited both of us. Uh, he gets an icon that's probably worth more uh, in coins than Mason Greenwood, but uh, it's whatever. It's no big deal. So, two new players to the squad. Just start Mason Greenwood and Rashford. Todd's Rashford. And I also added Old Gunner as a manager. And I changed the squad name to Science United because I like Manchester United and I like Science. So I decided to combine the two. And I saw that Mertens got a crazy SBC release today. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that uh, Napoli is getting the credit uh, that they deserve. They're getting the quality cards that that squad deserves. It's super fun to watch. Unfortunately, I don't run Series A anymore, otherwise I probably either would be doing his card or attempting to find Scream and Signy again. So he found a match, quick match. Uh, we have red bar, so let's see what happens. This is a red connection. He's running 4-4, 1-1. With Pogba, Zaha as a center fielder. Rashford. Uh, so the interesting thing about Rashford, his gold card and his Tots card feel identical. I don't even notice a difference. The only difference is a position modifier. Like in this game, and, and he's got James as the right midfielder, so I respect that. Now I see that uh, Rashford's open. I waited way too long to make that pass. Uh, my mistake, but he was open on the mini-map. I need to guard the wing. I do guard the wing. The ball wing. Get over to Rashford again. I don't know why Fernandinho's pushing up the pitch. Uh, he's a center midfielder, not a striker. It's the goalkeeper's ball. And if I have to pause at any point in this match, I am uh, currently working as we're playing. And uh, I might have to answer 
an important question soon. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I don't. Oh, bad pass by me there. Um, so the connection is poor, so I apologize for anyone watching this match. I don't know why EA decided to match us up since he has a red connection. Good tackle there by him. Uh, aggressive tackle, but the tackle pays off for him. Greenwood gets his first touch of the game, uh, but he can't maintain the dribble. Henderson, good tackle. And now we're off to the races. Very aggressive there. I go for the slide tackle. I get lucky I don't foul him. Henderson, uh, Henderson with the ball. Henderson takes a shot. So I pass it from Greenwood to Henderson. Oh, that's interesting now. Uh, Mason Greenwood takes the near post now instead of Rikelson. And uh, Bernardino makes the pass, he gets blocked, and then he kind of like loses his balance, but I go back. I get fouled there, I might see a yellow, I don't know. Uh, we take a sidestep, and then we take a finesse shot with Mason Greenwood. Can't finish the ball. Get blocked by a center back, and now he's got possession. Uh, so the cool thing about Mason Greenwood replacing Del Piero is that shouldn't change too much. They're both medium, medium work rate. So they're kind of both identical running patterns and passing patterns. Because uh, I do like to have a, a difference in strikers. When it's two strikers, I like one with a high attack work rate and one with a medium. So that this way they kind of stand apart from each other naturally. Also, I got I put uh, Robertson on the transfer list uh, because I do have premium Alonso, and although his low defensive work rate kills me sometimes, I want to use him again in the matches because it's free kick. Now that Del Piero is not in the match, it's free kick. Uh, so far this match pretty boring, just uh, good passing by each of us, but no scoring opportunities. Ah, uh, I go to, I didn't think he was going to predict that cut in right there. I thought he was going to go to grounds. He plays good defense, takes the ball right from me. Mistake on my part. Very good tackle. Rashford's in the middle of the pitch, which I don't really mind, uh, because he's a striker. And the ball's gone again. Fernandinho does a little sidestep. So I am noticing that uh, by putting Rashford there instead of Sun, uh, it is for some reason making Fernandinho go higher up the pitch, which I do not prefer. And again, Rashford's in the middle of the pitch. He's not playing left midfielder. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know if he doesn't want to listen to me, uh, but you are a left midfielder. Now Marcus Rashford. Dom is wide open, headed into number 10, Mason Greenwood. Let's see how he dribbles with it. He's a big, strong player. I wish that Henderson wasn't the one to get the ball there. I wish it would have been Mason Greenwood. Again, I'm not liking that my center midfielders are going into the striking slot. They should just stick being a center midfielder. I have both my center midfielders have to stay back on attack as well. I go to ground there, and he takes advantage of it. He's going to get a shot off here. Uh, shot does get blocked. Now 
Atalanta. And it will be their throw. So I'm looking for Adama to open up so I can get a long pass to him. Oh, that might be a red card. So if you see the jersey numbers and you slide tackle, they almost always call a red card. So I do feel guilty. But the ref is letting play go on, and the ref lets play go on. They normally don't get a red card. So we might have the lenient ref. So it's half time, and we're still waiting for that first goal. The two teams here have got a lot of potential to play better than this. Yeah, they're trying to find highlights on the big screen, but it's not lasting very long, that package. So look at the match stats. So both have a shot on target. Uh, mine's inside the box, is outside the box, but oh, he had a good shot, just the defender blocked it. Possession is 54% in my favor, under 46, and my pass accuracy is super low. So we are playing sloppy. It can only get better, Alan. Can only get better. I've forgotten that first half already. Let's hope for. And they're bored. The announcer <laughs> the announce is saying that it can only get better. They're, they're bored. Don't blame them. Oh, good little scoop there by him. Uh, possession. And we're off to the races with Mason Greenwood. And Mason Greenwood, his first match and his first goal, so he is dancing. Um, I suppose I should have did a chip shot there. I saw in the mini map that he was sprinting at me. Uh, but I kind of forgot how to do a chip shot. So I didn't do a chip shot. So I did a regular shot. I got lucky and went around the keeper. And now we're just waiting for him to uh, start the match back up again. He's really going to do this? Uh, this is like what I can't stand when opponents do. Like they ruin the matches because they get upset that you score one single goal against them. And now they leave. Alright, so I'm not going to take advantage of it. I'll just put the controller down. Oh, so now he's back. Okay. So he's playing again. That's nice. Rashford. Here's Richarlison. Let's go with Charleston. Mason. Get in some space, Mason. This is great teamwork. Uh, Mason gets the open pass and doesn't put onto the dribble. And now he causes pause. So I'm going to make a substitution while he's doing whatever he's doing on his end. Highly debating putting Nani in the match. Nah, I'll wait. So if I put Nani in the match, he's going to have to replace Mason Greenwood. Oh, you know what, I'll replace Adama. So Mason Greenwood has uh, 88 stamina. Um, which I thought he would last the whole match, but I guess he's not going to. That's good support play from his teammates. Wan-Bissaka, I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. And then I'm just going to keep picking and prodding until I see the shot that I want to take, and that is the shot I want to take, and I uh, hit the frame. And he calls another pause, so we'll wait. And I will answer some work emails. All right, we're playing FIFA again. I just sent out a report email. Uh, so Rashford is uh, like a great card. His base card is 
really good. So if you just got the game, you don't know who to get. You get St. Maximum, you get Zaha, you get Rashford. All those baseball cards are all really good. I uh, managed to get around one of his players, uh, but then I run into the other defender. Fall into the trap. He does a hard pass there. It was not bounce. So let's see if we can get, generate anything again for Mason. He's already taken one amazing shot that fortunately hit the post, and then he got one freebie. Try a little through ball there with Charleston. Just fell on a banana peel. <laughs> falls on the floor. <laughs> good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. He's got a good a chance here. He's got to score here. He's got to score. Here. He shot the ball too early. He shouldn't have shot. He should have kept the ball for an additional second. Passed it off. Uh, and he would have had an open player right in the box. This is a goal. Oh, I get super lucky there. So uh, my defender gets in the way of the shot. I get very lucky. Uh, he tries for a cheeky little ball right there. Um, but I don't call my keeper out during headers. Uh, sorry, I don't call my keeper out during goal kicks. So it wouldn't have went in. Uh, a good attempt to try to catch me. Make a mistake. Oof. Bad dribbling by me. He's going to ground a lot. Nanny. Uh, okay. Get it over out to the side. Oh, I tried to throw pass there to my striker. Uh, he blocks it last second. Good block. I'm guarding this striker, St. Maxine. So that he can't get anything with that player. Let's go, Mason. Get on that pony. And Mason buries it. This is, uh, this is great. Mason could have had a hat trick if he would have made the second shot he took. Right there, that's just a, a quality shot. Kind of poor defending that he was completely wide open, but. The shot does go in. Uh, Mason Greenwood, his first game playing. He's doing a great job. For those watching, Mason Greenwood, medium, medium attack, work rate, um, five star weak foot, Glevious, three star skill moves, and then he has a ton of traits. He has finesse shot trait, outside foot shot trait. Uh, he might have an additional trait, but the main ones are the outside foot shot and the finesse. Because uh, when a striker has those, it's just great. And then the five star weak foot helps as well. Right there, he tries to do a little too much with one single player. Uh, gotta make a pass there. I am happy the opponent did not uh, leave the match though. Kept playing. Uh, I was expecting him to slide tackle, so he slides a lot in the middle of the pitch, but he doesn't slide when he's the last defender, which is smart. I was thinking he was going to slide as last defender. He does not. Uh, that ball should be out of bounds. It should be a corner kick for him, uh, but it isn't. This game is glitched. That is unfortunate for him. Ooh, little skill move there to make it look silly, uh, but I do get my foot in front of it. Let's see if Mason can get open. Oh, bad pass by me. Because the pressure was starting to mount, the interception was timely to say the least. That's a good hit. Ah, bad shot by me. So I'm able to, uh, when I receive the pass from Nani, I'm holding ZL to find a shield so I could turn. 
Yeah, but I just I didn't hold down on the shoot button long enough. Rally with the long shot. Ball bounces around in my favor. I take the long shot with the strong foot. Uh, kind of like a volley. Good save. He comes out with his goalkeeper. <laughs> and uh, Rich Richardson blocks the scoring attempt with his head. Yeah, Mason Greenwood and says, nah, I would rather score. Please give me the ball. Uh, score is just a, a messy ball. I don't count that as a ball. My opinion, the score is still 2-0 to zero right now. What's going on here? Let's see what you can do. I uh, get the pass there, but a little sloppy on the pass. I'm not going to take this ball away, uh, but I get sloppy on the pass. And, uh, Mason has to kind of backpedal for it. This is bounce. Uh, but we finished the match. Uh, three to nothing. Mason Greenwood gets the man of the match. Uh, um, uh, this, you call this little theory, but I feel like when you get a player, um, their first 10 matches, they play way better than they'll ever play, and then after 10 matches, they kind of fall off. I'm a pretty firm believer of that, that when you get a player off the transfer market, they play great for 10 matches and phenomenal. Like, you have no idea what they're doing. You're like, oh, this is the best guy. I should have got this guy a long time ago. And then, like, after 10 matches, they kind of play like they normally would. I'm hoping that uh, I'm wrong with that theory. I'm hoping that uh, he just kind of keeps producing for me, obviously. But it's a little interesting theory I have. Uh, but possession, I'm able to get that 57%, so that's really good. Shots on target, uh, I take nine total shots, eight are on the target, and uh, I am the blue circles, so I do take a decent amount of shots outside the box, uh, but I do take a lot of quality attempts. So two or three of them were really poor shots, but most of them were really good, making the goalkeeper kind of dive for it. Uh, with the pass accuracy he at 66%, that's really bad. So my pass accuracy has to improve, otherwise I would have had a better outcome. Uh, but either way, we take the win. So this season, uh, we're two wins, zero losses, and zero draws. So hopefully we can get back-to-back -back perfect Division One titles. That is something I haven't done this year. I've, I've gotten two perfect Division titles, but not a back-to-back -back perfect Division title. So we'll go for that. I'm going to cut the stream here, and then I'll probably start up another stream. Just because I want to... Exclude this video. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll keep the stream going. So yeah, we're actually.